I'm so 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 and uh, he's trying to get to the place where it happened. And we know that his building has been, um, well, they know where the building is and they're trying their best to rescue everybody. And they know that there are people still under the rubble, but the problem is that um, they don't have the equipment necessary to get them out. Um, so yeah, that's, so he is still missing and we don't know where he is yet. And that's just an unimaginable feeling for you to have to wake up with every day and live with at the moment. Yeah, especially for my children as well. So, yeah. I'm so, so sorry. The, 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 the job of trying to get information out and his whereabouts is extremely difficult as i'm as, as i'm sure anyone can appreciate if, given these circumstances uh, do you have any hope that, that the information uh, that you that will reach you um is something that you will be able to to trust because part of the problem is here so many people don't know what's going on um well yeah so it was quite um uh, yeah shocking as you can imagine, if the club is confirming, saying that he has been found and alive and taken to hospital. And uh, 11 hours later, um, my children had to hear it from the radio, saying that they still don't know where he is. And um, so I know that his agent is there and they are trying their best to find him. So I trust that he will bring me, obviously, um, the news that I can trust that, you know, if he sees him or speaks to him, um, yeah. So, but it's, it's quite confusing, um, everything, yeah. And can you just remind us where he was and, and why he was there and the connection to the area? Well, he plays for Hate Spor. Um, he signed a one-year contract and um, he had a very good game on Sunday and he scored his first goal and um, so, yeah, and he has been living with his um, teammates as well, which has already been rescued. Um, so, yeah, that's all I and, can tell. Right now. And can you tell us about when you last had contact with him? Um, he spoke to the children last time on uh, Saturday morning. Yeah, that was the last time that I've heard from him. And then the, I can't imagine the moment that you heard that the earthquake had first struck. That is something that, that no one should have to go through. Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of missed calls on my phone from his sister. And um, then she just told me and uh, yeah, and then I read the news. So yeah, yeah. And have you got any so kind of, any messages for the the rescuers out there, the authorities out there, those working so hard to try and find people? Well, all I can say is that for me, I know the rescuers are trying their best, hard working day and night to rescue everybody. And um, I just feel for everybody who has like 
like me and my children been in the unknown, not knowing if the family is alive or not. And I would just appeal for the Hatay Sport Club and the Turkish authorities and the British government to send out the equipment could that, to get the people out that are still trapped in the rubble, especially for my partner and the father of my children as well, because it's it's they they need the equipment to get them out. They can't get there deep without the equipment. So and the time is running. So, yeah. Yeah, the the, the time is running out, but of course yeah. we have still seen dramatic rescues. People are still being pulled from the rubble. Does that give you some hope? A bit, yeah. I still, I still pray and believe that he's alive. You know, and some I would need to chat Ember. Because <laughs> It was until later the hours of the night they uh they left my place and then after I just finished cleaning up I sat down and I just started to kinda feel myself shaking and um and um yeah I thought I was having a, a panic attack and then the the shakes just kinda progressed more and more and I started hearing things getting thrown around the kitchen, you know, plates and cups and you know, all sorts just hitting the ground and and then I just saw the TV fell over, the table stand fell open, and that's where kind of that's when I realized, you know, what was going on. And then um, I had a candle that was lit on the table, and it kind of fell over, and it uh, it hit the carpet. And then I was just worried about kind of setting up a fire. So once I was able to kind of blow out the candle, I just ran outside my house, and you know, everyone was outside. It was lightning, it was pouring rain, and I just seen, um, you know, like a split in the roads and. I just ran to my security um, at the entrance of the of the uh, neighborhood I stay in, and everybody was just kind of there, and you know, just freaking out and yelling and trying to account for people that are missing and things like that. And you know, at the same time, it's you know, the worst case for me was that my house was just in a complete mess. Everything was a little bit place, but with a couple of my teammates who also live in the same area, we drove down to that training facility, and I mean, that's where we can kind of really see the. The, the disasters everywhere we know it's buildings completely collapsed there's roads that are um, divided there's fires there's people yelling there's people crying there's um um just you know things that you thought you never associated with our sporting director is still missing for no sonny sem no and ya kwa kuti a bano and semi de abre home betin nam pai boy ye bo and is a bimu a ye a chu Christian se wo tia se or won kwa if you say prom kwa ye hian so or won kwem a chas so bit to me a aye ne juma said ye na oye said nya ebusyon so bit to me a shum fi send ni ye and any ma on to me in ja womu em kwa sa kwa and sem no abre hope anti and pai bon ye na ye gusa ye bo so bit to me as I abe kayen sa meda sube so share Ghana TV one as we need. Yeah, my wifey. So be like a video, no best share comment. You know, yeah, my wifey. So the baby, me that's super brave.